Yo guys, your boy of Pemi Manner for the Rural Base in Lagos, Nigeria. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can color correct and color grade like a pro in Capture One. In Capture One, the first thing I want to do is by coming to this ICZ provide to check from generic to pro standard. So by selecting pro, pro standard, yeah, this is by choice actually. You know, if you need more ready or picture, I will just agree you stick to generic. But for me, I will pick pro standard so that you can get your sap out direct. If you look at what is the effect, uh, what is happening to the picture right now as I'm moving to program, you can see that we have, as I'm moving to pro standard, you can see that uh, we have a laser red in our main image. So for the sake, for the sake of this story, I will be selecting pro standard. Okay. After doing that, I'll come to my um, white balance and then to check if I can further warm up the skin tone. You know, I think it, it has a great white balance, but I just want to warm it up to like let's say 5600. So I'm just going to dye 5600 right about here, like that. So I'm happy. So the next thing I want to do, I want to come to my, you know, my color editor here, which is my color, uh, basic color editor. I want to select the red color. So this is the idea, like I said in my previous tutorial. I want to push in every color that has to do with the orange. Like I said, majorly human orange are found in three colors majorly, which is yellow, red, and then orange. I'm just gonna push red and yellow color in the orange region in my hue. So let's do that now. So selecting red, I'm just gonna push this hue towards red. Uh, yeah, towards orange like that. I'm gonna come to yellow also and do the same thing towards orange like that okay so the next thing I want to do I can further saturate my you know orange to make my orange you know more richer but I trust trust me you don't want to overdo this just slightly it's okay so depending on what you want then for the lightness I can cut down the lightness and I can bring it up so I'm just gonna put it up to like let's say 1.6 the next thing I want to do is to come to my skin tone and come to my layer to create an empty, I mean, a filled layer. Come to this place and click and select new feed adjustment layer. Okay, so you can rename this as skin tone or skin uniformity. That. So just click on rename, then to skin. Skin uni, uniformity. Skin uniformity. Okay, so after doing that, I want to come right here to select to pick the color in the area that I want. To pick. Like I said before, you don't pick from your highlights, you don't pick from your shadow, you select from your mid tone because that's where you can get almost average, you know, um, skin selection. So I can just come and pick somewhere here. Yeah, so you can see um presently at the orange region. So this one I'm just going to just come to yellow and make sure I'm selecting run from yellow and also run from there. So that you know I would I won't be so that the entire pictures, the entire color range will be selected. Because the idea is that I'm just going to unif uh, uniformize the entire color in this image. So for the hue, I can come and cut it down to a region that I want. If I want to make it yellowish, I can just put up. If I want to make it, you know, reddish, I can bring it this way. But I think I'm happy like, yeah, this region looks great to me. Yeah. So now the next thing I want to do, I want to increase the saturation a bit. That's if I wish. And if I don't want, I can decrease depending on what you want. Let's check it up to like, let's say, um, positive 0 0.6. Okay, let's say 1.3. I think I'm happy. So for the light, I can bring out the light and also increase it. So for now, I just want to give the light to like 0 0.5. I think I'm cool. We run soon. Now, this is where the magic lights. Lights, rather. This is where the magic lights. I want to uniform. uniform I want to I want to make sure yes this is where the magic lies I want to make sure that the you know the hue the saturation and the lightness is evenly lit you know they are 
they gradate into each other seamlessly. Okay, now in Lightroom for Lightroom Rita, this is what we call HSL in Lightroom. Okay, so I'm just going to jack up the hue saturation until I have the best color that I want, the best hue for my image. So I'm just going to put it like let's say seven or eight. Yes, let's put it at seven. Like so for the saturation, jack it up like yeah. 13 to 15 then for the lightness when you overdo it it is it is smoothing all the face but you don't want that just slightly because you're still gonna do this in photoshop so just jack it to like 14 and yeah let's say 15. so now good so now this is where we have this is where we are coming from we are from coming from here and this is where we are now the next thing i want to do is to come to my color balance you know and then for the um Okay, so before I work on this, I would like to create a new, I mean, a new feed layer also. So I will name it as color, color balance. So I'll just say, see. I will just say, see, see, color balance. So now, in color balance, we have the master, we have three ways that includes uh, shadow, mid tone, and highlight. In, then we have shadow, alone, mid tone, and highlight. Depending on what, which one you want to use. When you come to that master master affects the entire region and i'm sure you don't want that but for the three way you can affect the shadow separately metal separately and also the highlight separately so for my highlight i'm just going to throw some orange to my highlight region there's some orange to my highlight region then for my um metal i will have some red around my metal then for my shadow, I will just add some aqua to it, like this, yeah, something like this, yeah, bluish aqua, something like that. So I'm just going to reduce the this intensity of these colors that I've added to my picture, right, so that I can, you know, have a fine color grading. Let's see the quick color balancing that we have done to this image. So hold out on your keyboard and toggle this arrow back to see before this before the color balance and this is after the color balance so we have done a great justice to this image okay so i think i like what i'm seeing yes so we are coming from this and to this this to this so we are good we are doing well so now i can further take this highlight towards um let's say red to further increase my head red so what i would need to do is just to it down you know like that why i have red red and my middle can go to orange you get so you can just play around with it to have okay the kind of color you want in your color uh, balance okay so that's the that's the major idea before color balance after color balance i can further reduce the opacity here if i feel i've overdone so something like that but for now i think i'm cool the next thing I'm just going to do now is to come to my exposure panel over here, then play with my uh, my colors, which is um, which is white balance. Yes, I, I, I think I work on my white balance before. I can work on my exposure. Let's say cut it down to like uh, zero, negative 0 0.8. Then increase the brightness a bit, right? So yes. Okay, let me even. I mean, bring it up to like let's say um, eight, then increase the brightness also because she's a fair lady and I really want to make her fairness that really her skin really fair and make sense. So now the next thing I want to do, I want to increase my highlights, yeah, because I like my image to be really highlighted and make sense. So for my white, I'm gonna crush my white down okay, so that I can see some of the details my black i'm just going to push it down so that my image my subject can pop out from the background all right i'm just going to push this black down all right the next thing for the shadow um yeah let me just open up on the shadow so that you can see some bits some area in the neck region over here so something like this i'm happy like that. so we are coming from here to here here to here so we have really gone I've taken this picture from where it was to a better place. 
the next thing I want to do, I want to come to my, you know, come to my levels, levels and add some contrast to the levels. It's a contrast of um, four or three. Then for the highlights, let's watch the highlights so that we can get to see the details in the in the costume she's wearing to further add some contrast to my image. So for the level, for the mid-tone, I cut it down a bit to add some contrast also. So for the white, I'm going to cut the white down a little bit, just a little bit. We don't want to overdo. So we are from there now to this place. Okay, what I'm going to do next is to come to my custom styles. So to further grade my picture. So I'm just going to look for something that looks reasonable to me. And then, you know, further work on it for that during my picture okay so for the sake of this story i'm just going to come to this guy here and then I do. you don't apply it directly to the image just right click and say apply to new layer come to your color panel then you can further reduce the intensity of the whole package of you this is before the um styles added and this is after before after so if you feel this too much you can just cut it down and for the or the other yeah i think i'm cool with 40. so this is what i've just turned my picture yeah before and after before and after the next thing i want to do is to you know add some clarity to my picture yes let's add some amount of three structure one then come and add a bit of these to it to further have some contrast to our picture. So basically, this is how I color correct and color grade in Capture One. If you stay through this tutorial, you know, and feel this tutorial has helped you one way or the other, please do well to subscribe, like, and then comment. We can both learn and grow together. Thank you. Peace out.